Hello everyone, welcome to another video lecture. This is the physiology portion. A 56 years old has long standing chronic pancreatitis and develop pancreatic insufficiency. Which of the following will be absorbed normally? So the patient suffering from the chronic pancreatitis and development of the pancreatic insufficiency that means the pancreatic juice are absent or reduced regarding the requirement. So uh, the different type of activity will be hampered due to reduce or absent uh, secretion from the pancreas and which will absorb normally that means will uh, which function will not impaired that means absorption of following substances uh, will not hamper due to chronic pancreatitis here the options options are fat protein folic acid vitamin b12 and none of the above so we have to find out on of the option which is independent of pancreas for reabsorption so among the substances which substances is enough for uh, itself to absorb without the help of the pancreas so let's see the different type of the uh, chemical substances or food materials and the relationship of the uh, pancreas with their secretion so first of all here we can see the pancreatic lipase is required for digestion of the fat so pancreatic lipase important lipase it is required for the fat absorption so fat is dependent absorption uh, of the pancreas so pancreas is responsible for fat absorption on the other hand here you can see the protease protease it facilitated protein so protein also absorbed by the action of the pancreas then b12 absorption so b12 is another important molecule or micronutrient and it also depends on the pancreas for it is reabsorption and the folate digestion here you can see the folate or folic acid it is independent of the pancreas so this point is very very important the folate this is the folate digestion uh, so folate digestion is independent of the pancreas that means the folic acid uh, it's not required the pancreatic secretion so here first of all see the vitamin b12 so vitamin b12 it uh, when we eat it enters uh, to the diet and here we can see this is the b12 uh, this portion is the b12 and it's going this is the b12 uh, this portion is the b12 so b12 when we it it uh, enters in the stomach then here we can see the important factor which is the intrinsic uh, factor of the castle and this intrinsic factor uh, of the castle it binds with the b12 so intrinsic factor of the b12. Uh, intrinsic factor or another important factor which binds with the b12 so uh, b12 it binds another structure and it goes down and when it comes to the pancreas here we can see the secretion from the pancreas it divides this segment and the b12 again free and b12 finally it binds with this intrinsic factor so intrinsic factor binds with the b12 in the jejunum not in the stomach actually the b12 it binds with the r protein in the stomach so the b12 it's first of all it binds with the r protein in the stomach and when it goes to the pancreatic area there the pancreatic juice it causes breakdown of the r protein from the b12 and b12 is now free then b12 is occupied by intrinsic factor of the castle and finally with the intrinsic factor of the castle this b12 goes to the terminal ileum here and the reabsorption of the b12 occurs here so here we can see there is the important phenomenon occurs in the pancreas or in the secretion of the pancreas that uh, the r protein should be removed and intrinsic factor of the castle should attach to the 
B12 and this portion is done by secretion of the pancreas here we can see the secretion of the pancreas so this B12 is directly rely on the pancreas for its reabsorption and at this box here we can see different type of enzyme released by the pancreas and their action so first of all amylase so the amylase it acts on the some portion of the carbohydrate and it is responsible for starch digestion then in the second box there are different type of the protein breaking enzyme and they are responsible for protein digestion on the other hand in the third box here we can see the lipase cholesterol elastase phospholipase this type of enzyme and they are responsible for fat digestion and deoxyribonuclease ribonuclease they are responsible for the nucleic acid digestion so carbohydrate protein fat nucleic acid vitamin b12 so this important substances here we can see this is the most important substances in our body and this absorption of these chemical substances or food material they directly rely on the secretion of the pancreas so carbohydrate protein fat nucleic acid b12 they rely on the pancreas for it is digestion and absorption and here we can see this is the folic acid so folic acid it is not responsible or not rely on the pancreas for it is absorption here you can see this is the polar and soluble in the water and usually not soluble in the lipid non absorbable from the gi tract but it is absorbable in the jejunum so it is possible it is possible for the folic acid to reabsorb from the jejunum and here we can see they are uh, reabsorb in the enterocyte and finally it goes to liver and it may stop two to three months which is very a small time and they are responsible for different type of metabolic activity in these cells so what is the answer answer is now ready that in case of pancreatic insufficiency which absorb normally only the folic acid absorb normally other substances here such as the fat protein b12 and also the carbohydrate they are dependent on the pancreas for it is normal digestion and absorption process thank you all